I received a really nice comment from Melinda, and she writes, I love your videos on public domain graphics. Well, first of all, flattery will get you everywhere. She says, can you tell me where I could find color retro advertising images, something along the lines of 1950s women selling a product? Well, absolutely. The problem though, this is the challenge, is a lot of those old magazines, they have black and white retro advertising images. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you where to find retro advertising images, and I'm gonna show you a colorization tool you can use not only on those images, but on any image that you find online. Let's jump in. Okay, so I did a video here on the Crafty Stacks channel about a magazine called Silver Screen, and so it's on the Internet Archive. I'll put a link to that in the video description below if you're interested in a deeper dive on that. I'm just going to pop into one of the magazines here, and I'm going to click the little thumbnail button down on the bottom right, and we can see there's a whole bunch of color advertisements, but also black and white advertisements. So as I scroll on down, it's like, hmm, is there a way that I could colorize these? So I'm going to pick this one here, the Submarine Patrol. It's just going to take a second here to load in. It's actually a pretty decent resolution. There it is. And we can see this is like a movie from the olden days here. So I'm going to just right click and save this image. Okay, so now we get to the colorizer tool. It's img2go.com, which I think stands for image, 2go.com. And there's a colorize image option. Again, I'll put this link in the video description below. I'm just going to choose a file right here at the top. And I'm going to put in my black and white file that we found online. And there it is there. There's the JPEG. Now I'm going to click the start button. And the AI is going to think this is artificial intelligence. And we can see our black and white image is now going to get changed into a colorized image. Okay, and now it's going to ask me to save it as a PNG file. I could open it as well in my photos viewer or any of my other default viewers, but I'm just going to save the file now. Okay, so here's my original image. Now it's a black and white image and because it's a painting here underneath, it's not going to be super colorized, but that's okay. The subtlety of it is really nice. You can see here they've given some color to the lips and you can see there's some shading here inside of the faces as well. And the painting itself doesn't actually have a lot of color. I'll show you another example. Here's a black and white vintage advertisement from the same magazine I just flipped on through. And we can see here the suit, the dress, and you can see because of the lighting, the dress itself actually has different color tones inside of it, and the lips are red, and we can see it's colorized. It's pretty cool. Let's try one more. Okay, so here's a vintage Coca-Cola advertisement. I would not recommend selling this uh, because it's trademarked. However, you can sometimes find public domain. I just picked this image because it's got a dark cola and a woman who's wearing some clothes here and there's a Coca-Cola logo. Let's see how smart the AI is. Okay, so I'm going to go to my colorizer tool and I'm going to go up here to all tools and you can see there's a whole bunch of different tools. I'm just going to go here to the colorize image tool and I'm going to choose my file. Okay, and my file is now uploading. I'm going to click start. Okay, so here's the original image and then let's take a look here at the colorized image. We can see here, I think it does a very good job. The AI recognizes faces and skin it doesn't necessarily do a good job with, say, corporate logos. It's not going to know that this Coke logo is supposed to be red, for example. But for recognizing a human, this actually does a pretty decent job. And what I actually like about this colorizer tool is it doesn't radically colorize everything. It doesn't stick a bright green background in there and floating ants around it. It's, it's very subtle. And so this looks like this could actually be a 1960s advertisement. Okay, so if you like this tool, it is completely free. It's called img2go.com, and there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do in here. The colorized image is sitting right there, and that's one of just many cool free tools. Hope you found this video helpful. Here's another video that'll help you with your graphic design skills.